So today we're going to unbox and install an OEM Tissot strap for the Tissot Powermatic 80. Let's go. I just wanna stay bad, stay mad, shit by my shoulder cause they treat me like an outcast I ain't gonna take that, stay back, I'll be swinging hard till the hits come in all caps I ain't gonna lay back, pray that someone's gonna help me, ain't nobody like that I ain't gonna wait, that's all fat, give me one shot and I'll never get the throne Now, the Tissot PRX is quite possibly the best sport watch, value for money under that thousand dollar price point. Back in 1978, Tissot had an integrated bracelet watch called the Sea Star. Yes, that integrated design was very popular back in the 1970s and it really has made a resurgence today. So in 2021, Tissot revived that design in a line of watches that they called their PRX. In early 2021, that first PRX had a quartz movement and they came in at under $400 which offered a pretty good value for a Swiss watch. And then later that year, Tissot released another version, this time with an automatic movement, the Powermatic 80. Now what's so special about this one is it had that integrated design that was so popular, it had a waffle dial, a robust automatic movement, and it came in at under $700 MSRP. Then in 2022, Tissot released a chronograph version, this one costing upwards of $1,700 MSRP. All this to say that Tissot really has a banger on their hand with the PRX. This one made waves across the watch community, and for good reason. Now, one of the cool things about the integrated bracelet sport watch is how comfortably they wear. Having that integrated bracelet just allows the bracelet to wrap around the wrist and it allows the watch case itself to lie uh, really flat on the wrist. Now, I would classify this PRX as a sport watch. Sport watches are a little bit more formal than a tool watch, and they're a little bit more robust than a classic dress watch. The sport watch almost gives you the best of both worlds between the tool watch and the dress watch. So one of the challenges to a sport watch is you can't dress it up quite as well as you can a dress watch. A classic dress watch will generally have a leather strap, whereas most of these integrated bracelet sport watches have beautiful metal bracelets. A metal watch bracelet does draw a little bit more attention. It looks cool, but traditionally it makes the watch look a little bit less formal. Now, one of the things that you can do to make your sport watch more versatile is actually getting a leather strap for it. And that's why today I'm going to dress up my Tissot PRX by putting on an OEM Tissot leather strap. So let's change perspectives. I'm going to show you how to swap out this integrated bracelet with a Tissot strap. So this is the Tissot PRX Powermatic 80. It's about a 40 millimeter wide case, a little under 11 and a half millimeters thick. I think they advertise it as a 44 millimeters lug to lug, but it does have that uh, integrated case. So in effect, it wears closer to a 51 millimeter lug to lug case. Now the spacing between the lugs is about 12 millimeters. So with that 12 millimeter lug spacing, it makes it very difficult to find an aftermarket strap for these. But fortunately for you, Tissot cares about you so much that they have OEM straps that you can buy on their website. Now this strap only cost 65 bucks. Here's the packaging that it comes in. Very simple paper box. I don't care, I'm just gonna throw that away. So they included a tool to be able to take off the bracelet. And then here is the strap. So this is what it looks like. It's advertised as being a genuine leather and it has kind of a, uh, an embossed crocodile design on it. Now on their website, they do have uh, straps in blue or black. And my recommendation would be that if you have a blue dial watch, I would go with a blue strap. I have the black waffle pattern dial, so I opted for the black strap. So I'm gonna get my cork pad just to minimize any type of scratches that I might cause to the watch. And now let's see how easy this is. So I'll flip the watch over. I'm gonna use their supplied spring bar tool. So 
So by applying pressure on both sides, it does allow the wearer to pop off that spring bar. So it's a pretty simple system. I'm going to peel off the plastic. And then I'm going to try to install this new one. So now they got those pieces in, I'm going to take off the plastic wrap around the buckle. The strap seems to be well made. It's a little bit stiff, which is kind of normal for some of these uh, entry level leather straps. But overall, for 65 bucks, I really can't complain. So there you have it, the leather strap for the Tissot PRX Powermatic has reasonable fitment. I really can't complain for 65 bucks. So there's a quick unboxing and installation of the Tissot leather strap designed for the integrated case of the Tissot PRX. Is it the greatest quality leather? No. Best quality strap ever made? No. But for $65, I don't think you can complain. So I'll be wearing this one for a little bit, let it break in, see how it feels. And at the end of the day, it is nice to have that option of being able to go from a metal bracelet to a leather strap on your sport watch. So if you've made it this far into the video and you've gotten some value out of this, please do me a favor and subscribe, hit the like button, and remember guys, wear your watches. I got the cash in the bag, stadium pack, born a rock star in this life gone.